have the pleasure to present to you. Hey guys, it's Tyler, and I'm playing Kayunagi. Check your pockets. I'm Yuichi Akage, the wielder of the Hellblade. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Joanna. I'm playing Tor Amiga. She's a paladin from the slums of Kamagaski. Hello, everybody. I'm Ross, and I'm playing Higashi Dinyu, also known as Dino, to his friends. Hey, I'm Paul. This is my cat, Leo. We're playing Ryuji and Junpei in high school D&D. Hey, guys. I'm your game master, Rob. Thanks for joining us on this adventure to save the world and hopefully pass next week's exams. So pay attention, students. Class is now in session. You like see, <laughs> you see, like Yuichi is like. It's like it's like a flashback. <laughs> It's it's like a flashback of Ichi pulling out another manga in front of his book. <laughs> what 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 oh, manga? Yeah. What what manga uh, were you reading instead of studying, Ichi? Um, my Age Academy. <laughs> totally not any other kind of anime that exists. <laughs> Ryuji steps in to say, "Man, they call it homework to make you feel like you have to do it at home. It's a psychological maneuver." It's where they trick you into doing things like that. You know what we call it a sidewalk? To make you think you can't run. We can run. In yeah. UG <laughs> so deep. Free thinkers. Yeah. I guess since we're still in the administrative area, are there any like filing cabinets or stuff like that that behind might have, the like, desk. A directory or something? Behind the desk, but you gotta get through the administrator to get to it. Hey. Can we send Manny to look under the door and see if anyone's inside the office? Manny? He looks Manny's distraught. With Kai. Come on, Manny's Manny. with Kai. Oh, no! <laughs> I knew I should have taken that, is that a good, That is a good idea. It's not, it's not a bad idea. If we have ears in his office, Kai? if we have ears in his office, then we'll be able to see if he's, like, deleting emails or Kai, making... Kai didn't tell any of you guys he was going to the police station. <laughs> yeah, why doesn't he ever tell us anything? I say we did school and go to Tepe. <laughs> <laughs> no, my shit doesn't start till four. The, well, the administrator, like, is just like, okay, club signups and registrations are happening during lunch. I don't know if you guys heard. Oh, and also, well, why didn't you like, mention that? <laughs> I thought y'all like, knew. I'm sorry. What yeah, happened? Like, what happened? Y'all were just talking class. about sponsors. Yeah. Uh,. And also, like, half the class didn't show up. So it's going to be, like, pretty obvious if we, like, don't go to class. All right. Hey. Because we're, like, half of the people that are left. Is there any way you could do a distraction with this administrator so I can get onto her computer? Ma'am, I'd like to discuss the protocol here for um, obtaining my uh, school records, my permanent file. <sighs> Right now, don't you have to be at class? The The first period bell just rang. Well, you see, according to um, Article 7, uh, Section 14 of our school's constitution, I reserve the right at any moment to see what uh, you have available information-wise on me. And I need the hard copies, ma'am, not just the... Your, your parents have the rights because you are a minor. I have no parents. Except What's your name? Dad. What's your name, kid? Unagi... Kai? <laughs> what the? You're registered as your guardian being Onizuka? You see why I'm having some issues here. Yeah, that was another reason we had to come by. Uh, oh, man. Okay, I'll have your records sent over to your class, okay? I really need them, uh, right. What could she, you no, possibly no, guys, need them she's for right, right now? She's right. We need. We should probably go to class. Uh, Takahiro actually <laughs> talked to me, saying, "If anyone needs help at the school, I'm the person that needs to stop everything and help them. So, what if they go to class and I help you get gather all of his stuff? It's not going to take me long to gather it up. I know where it's all at. All right. You want me to like hold down the fort for you while you go look? Because I know that you probably need someone here to. Okay, I I realize this is going nowhere, and she gets up and and steps off to to this filing cabinet and turns around and is like, 
Okay, let's see. Dino like slaps Ryuji's shoulder to like tell him to go to the computer real quick to try and okay. like look up a directory for Takahiro's address. And Dino's gonna walk over and he's gonna be like, "Oh, y- y'all are still on this filing system?" To like add to her distractedness, like slow her down a little bit. Okay. You can calm down with the smart ass comments, all right? Oh, I'm, I'm, I, I promise. I'm not trying to be a smart ass. <laughs> uh, my mom, she runs the business side of my family business, uh, Higashi's, the auto shop, on um, Kamigaski. But she uses a different system, and I think if you were to use that, it might help you find stuff faster. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then, like, he, like, kind of, like, is, like, That's using cool. a lot of words to describe. Like a very simple change that isn't really that complex. It's like, see, like you have your blocks here, uh-huh, but if you uh-huh. just go down to a smaller folder and color your code them, like all it'll uh-huh. take you just no time at all. You can separate them by year, you can separate them by class, like you can do any right. number of things. And then, like, he's just gonna keep going on and on <laughs> and on and on. Like, see, yeah, my mom figured this out when my dad decided that maybe he should be the one uh, to. Uh, hold, hold, uh, I think I found oh. it. Hold, hold on. Are you sure? Give me the roll. Uh, let's do. Okay. Let's do investigation. Oh shit! For <laughs> Ryuji. Yeah. You guys never do any crimes <laughs> when Kai is there. Oh no. <laughs> it, oh, I, don't, I don't know what to search, guys. He's thinking, thinking out loud. Uh, no, we're yeah, just we're just searching for for Nagi's gonna, records. Like, I think I got it right here. Hold on, let me pull it up. Her arm in. Oh yeah, my god, these Dino's, grades. Dino's gonna like <laughs> beckon Ryuji to get away from the computer, like close and everything down. She she turns. <laughs> <laughs> she she turns and, and she's looking at the folder as like Ryuji's like stepping away from the computer. <laughs> and she sets the folder down and she's like, Mr. Unagi, I don't know why you need this because there is literally no school that's going to take you with these records. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Uh, um, uh, yeah, Kai, how, how many? I'm... What What do your grades look like? Or are we talking about in Japan or in America? Both. <laughs> uh, well, probably in the United States, like early on, they were probably you know average good, and then at around middle school. From middle school on, it's just F's and no shows and with yeah. cancel. Like truancy. I think you need to do tutoring. See, that's uh, what I've been telling you, Kai. I'm actually applying for a job as a prison warden. Prison <laughs> warden. Like you don't know. Me. It's the only way I'm ever going to see my dad. You know, since he's now in prison. <laughs> Look, Onizuka, Onizuka was a very nice guy, so I hope everything works out for you. I I hope he didn't do it. Do what? Mika, Mika's going to put her arm around <laughs> Ryuji. Okay. It's okay. We're going to get you some tutoring. <laughs> We're saving all this affection for fake Kai. <laughs> if only I could read. <laughs> all right. Don't worry, all right. Kai, Don't you've come so far. Don't worry. Okay, like, okay. We're working y'all need to, on it. Y'all need to go to class, okay? I know I know. Keiko would not be happy knowing that y'all were just sitting around here the whole time just for one record. Yeah, we, we, we should head to class. She's right. So you guys are heading to class. Yeah, Dino's stomping down the hallway. He's he's just pissed off in general. Ryuji's fake crying. Mika still has her arm around fake Kai. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. You want some Anagu? <laughs> I have some kid right here. If only I wasn't dropped as a child. Is <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh, crack a grin. <laughs> What's Ichi doing walking to class? It kind of like spacing out a little bit, just kind of like. Is he is he scared about chapter nine? He's a, he's a little bit scared about chapter nine, but his mind kind of got blown. He's like, I could save so much time doing work at school. I mean, I'm still going to probably read manga instead, but like, I could do work at school. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all turn the hallway and y'all can see the homeroom. Y'all are walking up and then 
I'll probably be walking out of the bathroom just like drying my hands off and tossing a paper towel out. Kai, oh. where have you been? Uh, Kai, what the hell? Yeah, sorry I'm late. I didn't think it would take as long as I did. Well, uh, whatever. Where's Manning? Uh, with me? Why? We need him to camp out in Takahiro's office. So that way, when he comes back, we'll know what he's like doing. Yeah, I don't mind. Any? Oh, no. You're gonna leave me in that creepy place. Listen, I'll make you whatever you want to eat if you do it. I just wanted those Taiyaki cookies. Dude, I will make you your own Taiyaki cookies if you do it. I'm all out of Taiyaki, unfortunately. No, you're not. Don't lie to me. Okay, well, here's one for uh, going and doing what Dino says. Okay, I'm sold. All right. All right. <laughs> Uh, try like try to be in a place where you can see his computer. Like, look for him, like shredding documents or deleting text messages, anything of that nature. All right. Right, right. Yeah, I know the spot. I, that's where I saw Mika first. All right, you know what to do. And he gives him a little fist bump. Mm. Mika's gonna lean down and like pet his head. Be careful in there. All right, will do. I really think this is a waste of time. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure we took care of that the other day. Uh, out of curiosity, have any of you seen the art teacher? Yeah, Mika yeah, we actually saw him driving off this morning. Oh, he like, got fired. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Do you know um, anything about him? We don't know what ha- why that happened. Nothing. It's just Mr. Onizuka asked me to tell him something. <sighs> Oh no. You see Oni Zuka? Yeah, I saw him. When? This morning, that's what I was doing. Oh, okay. You're telling us not to, like, connect ourselves to Takahiro and you're going down to the police station to talk to Oni Zuka? Well, yeah, I mean, there's nothing weird about that. I there's mean, something weird about that. Except that he's, yeah, he's, our pri- he's the prime suspect. You need to be careful. There's something I need to tell you guys, and it's a little embarrassing. This is my guardian for the school. Oh, yeah, we know. Yeah. Wait, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I he, know. he, like, looks over at Ryuji. We kind of needed a distraction so we could look up the directory at the administrator's desk. And, well, Ryuji pretended to be you, and she pulled your permanent record. You need a tutor, by the way. Guys. Why were you trying to hack into a school computer? You want to hack? Lives. Yeah, oh, that's, that's, that's all a, of them home. It's the world's easiest thing. Like, she was right there, so it's not like they were like doing anything illegal. They don't like steal nothing. You just follow them home. How do you think I know where Dino and uh, Mika live? Well, <laughs> yeah. Wait a second. What? And Ryuji. You guys need to. Uh, no one looks around when they're taking their transit home. You guys want to know where Takahiro lives? I'll figure that out tonight. Just. Well, we have to find him first, and we can't find him. But don't worry. Like she said, the she'd give us um, an announcement when he got back, so the free thinkers could talk to him. I guess so. Anyway, we're like 15 minutes late for class now, so we better head in there. Up, oh, we're like 20 now, and he's just gonna walk in. And like as you're walking in, uh, Keiko's like, "So Shakespeare wrote Mc. Oh, so glad y'all can join us." Uh, uh, no, no, no! Don't say anything. Just sign the card. I guess since I'm the first one in, I'll grab it, and I'll be like, uh, "I'm gonna write a really heartfelt message in English." <laughs> uh, Dino's just gonna like turn around and hand it to whoever came in behind him. Mika will take it, and she's kind of angry, but she scratches down her name and so, really hard, and then goes to sit down. This is for who? This is for Riku's family. Oh, yeah, as if a card will help. I mean, what else do you want us to do, Mika? I this was for Onizuka. Oh, racing something. Oh, we, we could make what? paper cranes. But that's for if somebody's sick. They're Mac- macaroni pictures. Yeah. Those are fun. 
we can do some art. Uh, make, can we ask the you art can make, teacher? You can make whatever you would like. Uh, let's just focus on the lesson, okay? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. We have, can we can we talk like about this? Like, look, you're you're 20 minutes late, okay? Let's just sit down and get to the lesson. But where's the art teacher? He's not here, okay? Well, where is he? What happened to him? He had to leave the school. He got is fired? he in jail too? He's not in jail. I don't know. I just know he's not here, okay? I really wanted to talk to him about this painting. And he'll he's just going to sit down at his desk. Weird. So raise your hand if you read chapter nine. Like, like it goes like raise his hand like instinctively and he's like, oh yeah, all right. Okay. She knows. Like, hey, what did I read the other day? I know things have been stressful, but you guys cannot skip your homework just because of that. I mean, so you're saying death is not an acceptable reason to skip homework, man? Look, Ryuji, my job's already hard today, okay? Can we just get to the lesson, please? Okay. At least your job, your day didn't end in death. Well, I mean, maybe if we talk about Macbeth, it'll take our minds off of death. Yeah. He's right. I, I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Why don't we read chapter nine? No, right? he's not read any of it. <laughs> Do you know it's going to just turn around and look at Ichi like, yeah. That's how we know you didn't read chapter nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, just a quick summary. Macbeth and his friend, Bankyo, were returning from war in Scotland. They stumbled upon three witches. These witches told Macbeth and Bankyo about a prophecy. Macbeth was chieftain of Glamis and he will become chieftain of Kadar and king of Scotland. Banco will become the father of future kings. Macbeth and Banco scoffed at this prophecy, thinking it was foolishness because there was already a chieftain of Kadar, and Macbeth was a loyal servant to the king and thought there's no possible way he could become the chieftain or king. They stumble upon a couple of nobles that tell them that, that King Duncan of Scotland had promoted him to chieftain of Kadar. This essentially confirmed the prophecy to Macbeth, while Bankyo was still skeptical of it. Returning home, Macbeth told his wife of the prophecy and she became ambitious. She pushed Macbeth to kill the king and become king of Scotland himself. Macbeth was still a good man at this point, but he had visions that he felt pointed him to go ahead and do the deed. The king had stayed with Macbeth and he murdered him in his sleep. And his wife and Macbeth pinned it on the servants who they blamed. The king's sons ran from Scotland and Macbeth was crowned the king. Knowing the prophecy said that Bakio's sons would become the future kings, Macbeth had his friend killed, but Bakio's son got away. After this, Macbeth began feeling regret over how he came to power and began having visions of his friend's ghost. And during what was supposed to be a celebratory dinner, Macbeth said to his wife, it will have blood, they say, blood will have blood. Stones have been known to move and trees to speak. Augurs and understood relations have by maggots, pies, and coughs and rooks brought forth the secretest man of blood. Macbeth became leery that another noble named Macduff was planning his assassination and rightly so. He knew in the prophecy that he would not be defeated until the Burnham Wood moves. And obviously forests don't move like that. And he'll be defeated by a man not born of a woman. 
he eventually finds out that his wife committed suicide after feeling grief for what happened. It is then he sees a force moving to him and recognizes the shields as being made of Burnham wood. Knowing that he won't be killed except by a, a man not born of a woman he thinks that he is safe, rides in to defeat the force. It is as he faces Macduff that he learns Macduff was born through a cesarean section. Not born of a woman, essentially. Macduff kills him, beheading him, and the tyrant Macbeth dethroned. So the point of the story is that the madness of tyranny will eventually be its own downfall. But I guess the question is, are we truly in control of our own destinies? Are we truly at fault for our actions or is there a higher power controlling us like puppets on strings? Gigi? So does that mean the witches from the beginning, are they bad or good since they told him about what would happen and, and sort of set him on this path to become a tyrant? Did they instigate it? What do you think, Ichi? Do you think that Macbeth would have taken this path if it wasn't for the witches? I don't, I don't th think so. I think he might have, because it seemed at the beginning, like when you explained it, like he was like a good guy, you know? He was loyal to the original king or uh, baron. Mm -hmm. And then that guy died and then he started being power given to him and and well i guess the question is did macbeth really have a choice in the matter because yes. once he learned of the prophecy he told his wife of it and immediately his ambition took over yes it's his fault then it was the promise of power that corrupted him was it not you don't have to have power to be a bastard. Hmm. What of the saying that power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely? Those who suddenly come into power could be corrupted, couldn't they? By their very nature, humans are perhaps the most corruptible thing on this planet. And all it takes is an idea. I'm sure empires have fallen just at the very notion of ideas that like prophets or witches have come to glean from the universe Pompeii have any of you ever come to a situation in your life where you had a chance to take advantage of something only when I'm assisted Reardy thinks huh? back to this morning when he, imit when he imitated a Kai is that taking advantage of the situation am I a bad person it's nothing wrong. I, I can see with taking advantage of the situation. I mean, we have to consider who's being taken advantage. Uh, if I may speak, uh, sensei, uh, consider who's speak. being taken advantage of. I mean, with every winner and every power and tyrant, or every tyrant in power, surely someone must lose power. I mean, can we agree with that here? Someone has to lose in order for someone else to win. So only the strong can survive? Or the cunning. Let's not forget the cunning. Well, let me ask you this then. Do you think Macbeth is still in control of his destiny, even though it was essentially Scottish culture at the time that the strong and the cunning were heralded to be the leaders, those who could kill to gain I'm saying those that took the put in Beth in power decided his destiny for him. I think we have the chance to influence others' destinies, just as our lives can be controlled elsewhere. We can, can control others. It can be argued, ultimately, that Macbeth's wife was the one. Ah, no, it's the witches. No, the witches mm -hmm. of the Greek chorus. They're the ones that they're, they're watching from the background. 
But if they had no stake in the matter, and they tell someone that they that he will come into power and become king, if he if they hadn't told him that he'd become king, he probably wouldn't have killed the other dude. Wasn't his wife the one that suggested that he killed the king, though? Yeah, but if they hadn't told him he'd be king, how would she know to do that? Like, he told her, hey, these witches said I'm going to be king. And then he gets the chieftain thing. If she didn't know that that part of the prophecy, she might not have, like, you know, instigated him murdering the other king. We have to ask, is there an alternate dimension in which no one was murdered? I mean, which is your Greek? Uh, I don't mean to answer the obvious, ask the obvious questions here. I mean, I think everyone else is probably <laughs> thinking the same thing I was. But. Uh, well, the way I see it is, you know, maybe maybe the witches are like, you know, some cosmic force that set them up in this situation. And Macbeth is someone in power uh, who has no intention of killing someone. And then some third party, some like mysterious gray figure that you can't see his face, tells him that maybe he should kill someone to get this power. And then he does it. And now he has all this power and he's gone too far too deep. At that point, I would say the wife who in this situation is like, I don't know, just spitballing here, like some guy in a gray suit telling him to do it would be the guilty one. Mm. Those witches sound like rats to me, too. The witches are wrong. (laughs) <laughs> I would well, say that. And her committing suicide tips him over the edge. She has more control over him than he even realizes. Mental anguish. What kind of power are we talking about here? Like fireball magic? Messing with his emotions. Uh, okay, let's keep keep everything focused. <laughs> Sorry, we watched a lot of uh, a lot of Gundam last night. Oh yeah, instead of reading chapter nine. Chapter nine of Gundam Wing. Episode, chapter, same thing, right? I hear they draw a lot of inspiration from Shakespeare, actually, Sensei. Well, let me let me tell you guys my interpretation. I think Shakespeare meant this to be a cautionary tale. Mostly of the fact that to believe completely in fate is to allow yourself to the whim of others. And instead, you should focus entirely on the moment and focus on what is right or wrong to you. Yes, Ichi? What if, like, Macbeth started doing bad things? What if part of the way through doing bad things, like like before his wife died, what if he had decided enough was enough? How would he get out of doing bad things at like any point could he just like stop or was he in too deep i don't know ichi when one like becomes swept away by the the tide of fate can at any point they be the shore and she like has like a (laughs) tear run down her eye and she gets like really emotional about what you just said i think you can stop ichi Look, the detectives all told us Onizuka used to be a bad man, but he's been nothing but help recently. Oh my god, Kai. Would you look at that? It's time for lunch. 